Hey everybody, Ray here. Welcome back to another episode of this. Um, as you can see, um, I got kind of stuff kind of taped off a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So, um, it's got the edges taped off. I'm going to get this all primed. So, I've wiped everything down already. I've cleaned up all my rust. I've got everything prepped. I still want to get one more wipe with the tack cloth just to get some of the dust out. I don't want this uh, epoxy primer to come off. So I'm just going to do my best to get it nice and clean. So far it's looking pretty good. Um, so today, for sure I'm going to get this epoxy primed. I'm going to do a couple coats just on the bottom. Um, the sides aren't prepped yet. They're not quite ready. Um, not sure. I think once I get all this done, the bottom done, um, then I'll do the rest of it. Um, but for now, I'm going to do the bottom because once I get the this primed, I can p do my chassis paint. Um, it's going to be a satin black, so I'm going to do the epoxy prime and then paint it black. Um, so I'm using uh, Eastwood epoxy primer. Um, yeah, two part mixes one to one. It's fairly straightforward. Um, I'm gonna spray it on and if I can do two coats and I could technically spray my chassis paint tonight as well depending on, I don't even know what time it is right now, but you have to let this, you only have to let it sit for about half an hour um, and then you can uh, top coat it. So I'm going to get everything wiped off and yeah I'll come back when I'm uh, ready to paint I guess. Okay well I think I've got almost everything ready to go. Yeah I think I do. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the car like this um, just so I can get at some you know the bottom a little better and then uh, when it comes time to paint the floor I'm gonna tip the whole car over like this. Um, I think I'll do the engine bay the way it sits. It's easy to get that, that top stuff um, and I'll flip it over and get the other anything else I missed. Um, yeah I'll uh, get to painting and we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully it goes well. We'll find out. Okay, so this is the end of coat number one. So I'm about to start coat number two. Um, I'm gonna start like this right now. Um, 
because I missed a few spots just the way it was sitting. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to flip it up on its side. Um, and just in case, if I have a little primer left over, I'm going to prime a couple panels. Um, yeah, get you set up again. So, end of second coat. Um, yeah, I had my gun set up a little different this time. Uh, so I was putting on a lot of paint, so I was moving a lot quicker. Um, yeah, I just had enough. I was able to coat this, and I got uh, two of my uh, valence panels, just the back sides primed so that's good didn't waste any paint but i actually ran out just as i was touching that one up so that's pretty good i did i just guessed at the amount that i needed um based on what the inside took was like a full quart so that's what i mixed up um was just a little less than a quart of epoxy and then a quart of the catalyst so it's one to one so total there's a gallon of each so i got two gallons of epoxy to work with but this is done for now, so I used, yeah, I got lots left. So I can, uh, if I need to touch up anything or do whatever. Um, but that's, I'm going to let this sit for the night. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to spray the chassis paint. Um, yeah, so far so good. Okay, it's a day later. Um, yeah, so it's... I don't know, around noon the next day. Um, everything's dried up nice. Everything looks good. Um, yeah, I'm going to start. I gave it a wipe already, just with a tack cloth. There's no, there wasn't really any dust to speak of picking it up. And I'm not too worried about dust on this coat, but I'm going to be using. Oh, what is it? Yeah, without spilling it. It is. The Eastwood chassis black. Um, so yeah, this stuff is already thinned. Um, as you can see, I got my tape on there, so I don't know how I'm going to pour this without spilling. It is right full. Um, they don't leave any much room for pouring, that's for sure. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's already thinned out, ready to spray. Um, so yeah, should be pretty straightforward. On the one yesterday, I used about a quart each coat. Um, for the epoxy primer. Um, so I both do the same. So I'm gonna use half that can just to get this done. Um, yeah, I'll get you set up. I think I'm ready to go here. I have to look and make sure, I see what, how much time I need between coats. I'm gonna do two coats. I figure that should be good. Um, but we'll find out.
it's been, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, should be able, good to go on a second coat now. Um, yeah, I got a few runs, which I'm not too impressed with. But I doubt anybody will ever see it because they're on the inside of the fenders and on the firewall. Um, but it's good practice. Um, I had my gun set up a little too heavy on the spray. Just put two, you know, lighter coats, but I it was spraying kind of heavy. Um, so I let it, that's why I let it dry a little bit longer. So, but yeah, I changed my gun settings back here and it looks a lot better um it's a satin finish so it's not gonna be too glossy um yeah it looks really good back end looks way better than the front end of course you'll never see this but you know at least i'll know what's there i guess you will too but uh yeah we'll get going on the second coat done the second coat um, yeah actually looks pretty darn good if you ask me um, yeah it's probably been I don't know 15 I just cleaned up my paint gun it's probably 15 minutes or so since I last sprayed so always this time you just it looks so good and you just want to touch it but and then you leave a fingerprint and I don't want to do that um, yeah that turned out pretty good now this stuff has to sit and cure, um, like when I, before the second coat, it was almost dry to the touch, um, but this stuff apparently has to cure for 48 hours, it's 48 to 72 hours. Now I'm sure that depends on the temperature and humidity and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be dry to the touch in not too many hours, but uh, I think I'm gonna call it that well I'm not gonna do anything else with this today so lots of other stuff I can do um, so I might just putter around got all those body panels over there to clean up yet it's also a long weekend so I might go do something so um, yeah that's it so we'll uh, leave the video at that um, yeah that looks pretty good all right thanks for watching uh, remember to subscribe if you want and uh, yeah Got any comments or questions? Feel free to uh, post some in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.